with Jeff and Doug O'Dell, uh, Dwight from Cooper Smith. Um, I have actually had to uh, admit in the last couple of years to Jeff that I was only 19 at the time, uh, but he forgave me. Um, so back in 1991, um, they started the Berea, the basement of our home, but the actual ideation came from 1987 when Jeff went on a bike trip through Belgium um, and he was on a mountain bike. And back in 1987, not very many people here in the U.S. knew what a mountain bike was, let alone in Europe. So everywhere he went, everyone's like, what's up with the fat tire on your bike? Your fat tire on your bike. So tell a little story. But Jeff um, toured around in Belgium. That's where he fell in love with Belgian beer and Belgian beer culture. He went um, on, you know, to the majority of the Trappist monasteries. And this is actually his original journal from his original trip. Are we not pins? We are pins. Resume's only online. <laughs> it's true, resume's only online. My husband, my husband actually works here too. He works in HR and he does a lot of the recruiting. And it's amazing. Uh, you know, we're very lucky. We work in an incredible company. Uh, with 41% employee owned. Uh, after a year of employment here, everyone becomes an owner. Uh, also, after a year of employment, everyone gets one of those very cool fat tire bikes. Uh, after five years of employment, we get to take an all expense paid trip to Belgium uh, where we trace Jeff steps go to Trappist Monasteries, which actually is very difficult to get tours of, um, of now, but Peter, um, being Belgian, he kind of gets us in. Okay. <laughs> um, and then after 10 years of working here, we get a month's paid sabbat. Um, we just turned 21 this summer, we're finally of age. <laughs> Partnership with the Belgian Brewing, I mean with the Elysian Brewing Company out of Seattle. Are you guys familiar? 
Um, and so I'm the project liaison for that <laughs> as well. Um, I'm insanely blessed and really lucky. Um, so I am not a technical brewer, but I work for two very technical brewers, so I can hopefully answer most of your questions on um, the technical side, but if not, I'll find something. Yeah. Is there any questions so far? Okay. Well. So in 1995, we built this brewery. Uh, this is a 100 barrel Snydecker system. Um, so it seems like you guys probably toured a lot of breweries, but um, things that kind of make this brew house stick out, and our brew house too as well, uh, is we have a wet mill. Uh, I believe six breweries in the U.S. now have wet mills. Um, the first thing of course was Austin Sierra. <laughs> but now I can talk to like fellow brewers like, oh, it's a wet mill. Like, <laughs> um, so the theory behind a wet mill is, you know, we have what we call um, the malt castle on back. It's a building that has holds nine large silos and hold the majority of our malt grain. We do have bags. <laughs> I said it my last computer like, I'm like, alright. Um, but it was pretty exciting because I was like, oh my god, oh my god. And I was like, the whole story about my friends. Um, so, you guys, Speed Ultra is a highly environmentally conscious company and is uh, at the forefront of everything we do uh, is to think about um, our impact uh, on everything, especially the planet. Uh, it is one of our core values and beliefs to be innovators, is not only as business role models um, and not only improving technology. Um, and but in sustainable technology as well. Um, and maybe why I'm here. So a couple things right down to the tiles we're standing on right now um, are some of the best insulated tiles you can buy in the world They're from Finland. Um, this is actually you know, a really good example of innovation. So uh, this is a very fancy painted thing. It's uh, called an ice bank. Um, and so it is actually a Colorado company that made this and we like to support our local economy as well as innovators. And basically the theory behind it is it, pull, it pulls in cold air at night and makes ice even in the summer. Um, and then it is actually the air conditioning for our tasting um, so, um, Yeah, what's 
sleep the floor, Katie. them in the world that I'm aware of. Um, and if you're behind the mountain, so you can kind of see inside there there's a sheet. And when I take you down to the control room, this will we, we look at on the computer screens, it'll be much better. But so what happens in here, you know that you know in the kettle you're boiling mass quantities of liquid. For us one with a, a cylindrical cylinder, um, heating element. What happens in the Merlin is well, first of all, we walk by the hop dosing and spice dosing vessels. Um, and so, instead of brewers pouring hops and spices and salts in at different points in the oil for different beers, uh, we have dosing vessels down there, which they put in. Um, we're pulling wort off the kettle, pushing them through the vessel and back in here. Um, but what happens in here is we expand the surface area of the wort to about that much. Um, and so we are, we are heating twice as much work in half as much time with 75% less energy. This is basically a steam jacket. Um, so it's about a 30 minute boil uh, for wow. 200 barrels. It's pretty amazing. Wow. Um, <laughs> it's That's pretty good. amazing. Uh, it also has a tendency to, it obviously um, strips good volatile chemicals, but it also is yeah. sometimes strips the ones we want. <laughs> um, but you know, I work for two genius brewmasters who have figured out how to make it work. Um, but sometimes we have a little bit of problem scaling up. <laughs> um, but this also looks like a uh, barn. Uh, yes. Would you just <laughs> No, I'm just saying. So this is used for. So this actually tours. Um, it's funny. For like the first almost year we opened this, we didn't get tours up here, and this was kind of strictly a VIP tour area. Um, right. But then they opened it up, but the bar was still strictly VIP, and then I don't know, it's been a long time, at least seven years. They'll give. Uh, Beers on tour, we have events up here. Uh, it's not too bad today, but it gets wicked hot up here. It's I'm kind of ready. ridiculous. Um, so these mosaic tiles actually tell the story of our brewery. Um, so this one here is our vision statement. It used to be called our mission statement, um, but it's to operate a profitable brewery that makes our love and talent manifest. And it is absolutely, completely, and totally true. I mean, look at me. I started giving tasting and tours, and now I do new product development with the brewmasters. Um, if you show the initiative and the love and the talent, and actually New Belgium will find your talents and direct you in the right way. I always liked in the beginning, I thought I was going to do sales, you know, and now I'm like the opposite. You couldn't be happier. <laughs> um, so this one here is all the ingredients in here. Uh, sunshine. So I mentioned earlier that we're a highly environmentally conscious company. Um, on top of our packaging hall, about three years ago, we, we and other uh, businesses here in Fort Collins were given a grant from the Department of Energy. Uh, and we used our money from the grant to uh, install the largest private installation of photovoltaic panels in the state of Colorado. Uh, so sunshine makes up here, CO2 bubbles. Um, and uh, we are a highly matriarchal society around here. Uh, our 
CEO, our CFO, and our COO are all women, which is rare in any corporation, um, but very rare in the brewing industry. Kim Jordan, our founder and CEO, um, was the first woman named to the top 10 most influential people in brewing and the top first uh, craft brewer named to be Jim Cook. Um, so she wakes up in the morning. And and I still to this day have no idea what that is. Um, I, I swear it is. And like, from a brewing perspective, I'm like, a slant of yeast, maybe? I don't know. Um, so anyway, they put in a package. We do some quality assurance on the beer. That's the beer. She has a, um, a commercial beer with her co-workers. Uh, we, all, we all get um, a shift beer after work. No one really regulates that. <laughs> um, but it's really, and that's actually where the name for ship came from, the virgin. Um, so they put the beer on the truck. The artist himself always wore a purple converse. Sorry for himself in here. Uh, she goes home to her mother. They go on boat Is there a story about this bike, or is it just an old bike? The original bike for your artwork. That's the original bike from there. That's the one I want to. <laughs> Um, so you also make love when you drink beer, <laughs> and so that's a sperm and an ovum. Oh my god. <laughs> I was wondering where that was going to be. Um, 
Where? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.